everybody. How nice to see you again and again. People, watch. Schumacher is on the way. Hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Miss Cusibia LaBeouf has decided she wants to show you her driving skills. Have a look at that. As you can see, they are pretty Sherlock Holmes. If you were to go to the side, I think you might find it's a bit easier. The problem with these little electric trikes is they've only got one wheel that drives them. So you're going backwards now and receiving the roof. You've got a nice rear end though, that's for sure. Right, go on, give it some welly. And then go sideways and you'll find your way up. There we are. That's it. Keep going, keep going. We'll give her a push. Oh my God. That's okay. Who says that we don't bring you a bit of fun? Anyway, the idea of this video is we're going to take you out to the lighthouse, which is that away. If you're going to walk it, it's going to take you about 40 minutes. If you're going to use one of these things, it's going to take you about 10 minutes. Well, maybe in Graciela LaBeouf's case, about five minutes because she's going to go like the absolute clappers, that is for sure. If you're wondering about these little things, well, there we are. There's the logo, the branding on the side, kbdscooters.com. Mr. Tito is his name. We've got branches scattered around the Kedopakos Harbour area and all the way along the Hotels Road. Very hard to miss them, so if you want one, there you go, you see? I'm not a very good driver either. There's two more lunatics coming down as well. Are they good? Yes, there we are. A lady there with a smile. She's enjoyed herself for sure, that's for sure. Right, stick with us, here we go. Come on, we'll see you Alan, boo. Come on. We're off to the lighthouse. And on the way, we're gonna show you some spectacular views so stick with us, here we go. Look at that. Now some channels will walk this. Now that's their prerogative obviously, but it's gonna take you quite a long time, 45 minutes, that would be quite a long video and it's quite hot. Now if you're a tourist on holiday, quite a pleasant thing to do. Just stroll along here, understanding that when you get to either end, there are cafeterias and bars waiting to welcome you. And of course you can get a nice cold drink or a hot drink, an alcoholic drink, a soft drink, or even something to eat. The Blue Blue Mediterranean Society, it's the vibration from the seat, and on my twin brothers as receiving the roof in this. Now, the view out to sea is absolutely beautiful. Have a look at that. That's quite simply a view to die for. Let's see if we can catch up with the rear end of Gracivia Lubu. And these pavements, well, if you're walking them, perhaps they're not too bad. But if you're on one of these things, well, it's truly Sherlock Holmes, that is for sure. But have a look at that. Wow. It doesn't get much better than that. People travel thousands of miles and pay lots and lots of money to come and sit, stand here and look out into the abyss. And they realize that this is absolute paradise. The sea is blue, the sky is blue. I'm dressed head to toe in blue. All that's actually missing, of course, is you. Of course, you. So get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy. This could be the ideal place for you to come and chill out and have a great, great time. And hire one of these three-wheeler trike scooters. And if you're lucky, you'll stay alive. That's for sure. Grisivia LaBeouf is doing a monkeying around. And that's a nice rear end, that's for sure. Right, come on, Grisivia LaBeouf. Let's get off down to the lighthouse. So we're gonna follow this pathway and it's gonna curve round. It's probably about 1.5 to two kilometers. So if you're gonna walk it, it's gonna take you about an hour or thereabouts. If you're gonna trike it, it's gonna take you less than 10 minutes. Have a look at that. And the temperature today is absolutely perfect. The humidity has faded away and we're just left with the beautiful blue skies, a nice slight breeze and about 28 to 29 degrees. And that is absolute paradise, that is for sure. As we go on our travels, there are people stopped in various viewpoints and they are lapping up the views and the sunshine and they're having a great, great time indeed. But you know what? To, to drive these things, on this pavement, on these areas, it never ends. This, you know, Vibration. you feel every single, you feel every, every stone. single stone. Yes, you do. And non-clearness. And I can imagine, my God, your twin brothers are 
Uh, well, I would imagine that your balconies are bouncing around a bit as well. The twin brothers will be the doctor forever. No, the twin brothers will be fine, don't worry. And I'm sure Jeremy and Simon will be fine. So stick with us, we're going to follow the rear end of Receive the Booth, and we're going to go. I understand what you're talking about, Receive the Booth, and so do all the viewers. Remember, we're a family channel. Whoa! Ouch! Right, stick with us. That just over in the yonder there is what's known as the Lightos Lighthouse Beach or Firius Beach. And the reason why it's called Lighthouse Beach is because there's a big white lighthouse. And that is the... Oh my God, this is rough. This surface is unbelievably rough. And it does have an effect on the twin brothers, that's for sure. And I'm sure if you're of the opposite sex, it will affect your balconies. Anyway, another viewing point coming up. Let's go and have a look over here, Grisinia. Stick with us. And we'll follow that rear end. There's these lovely little platforms that have been constructed to allow you to get to almost to the end and then you can look out over the beautiful rock formation, hopefully not fall off the edge, which is there. And you can look at that yet again because it's beautiful. It takes your breath away and a lot of people, as I've said, travel for thousands of miles and pay a lot of money to look at that. Often people may be living in a big city and it doesn't mean they don't love where they live, and they often live there for reasons of work and for their family, or that's where they were born. But when they want to escape from it all, they normally get on a big bird and they fly to somewhere that's paradise. And Cyprus is paradise. Obviously, we're based in Paphos, and we believe Paphos is possibly one of the greatest places in the world. As time goes on, we're going to expand the channel, if you're wondering. We are going to frequent various other Greek islands, Corfu, Rhodes, to name but two. There's quite a few of them. We are going to get on the big birds or in a canoe and start paddling around. And the plan is to go and see islands where, should we say, Greek is the commonality. So the commonality of language and cuisine, because obviously my beautiful wife speaks Greek. What are you doing with that plastic bag, you see, the other bit? I'm playing. You're playing. What have you got to say to the viewers? There we are. She's found reverse. There we go. To be honest, her driving on one of these things is slightly better than her driving in a car. She's dropped a plastic bag, so now she's destroyed the environment for the next four million years. Hold on a minute, where's she gone now? You can't take her anywhere. She's gone to get her plastic bag. There we are. There we are. We do actually care about the environment. We try to look after the area that we live in, and we don't like to litter it. So please, I ask you if you are out and about in Papua. I know you, you'll see lots of rubbish lying around, but please treat the place with the respect that you would like the place to treat you. Think of it as your own home, and if you do have a can of Coke or whatever it is, once you've finished it, carry it with you, and please put it in a bun. In a bun? In a bin. Anyway, sit with us. We're on our way to the Lighthouse Beach, and that's the rear end of Ochin Recibi a la Bouffe. Now, Ochin Recibi a la Bouffe, I was wondering... Some of the viewers are new viewers and some of the viewers are older viewers. Some of the older viewers have missed it as well. But if you're wondering what Ochin Grisivi La Bouf actually means, that is the name that I came up with for my movie star wife. That's her over there. Her name is Marika, hence the channel, Marika and me. But I sat there one night. My Russian is very limited. A few words and a few swear words. I knew that bit wouldn't work. So I came up with what I thought was a great name and she likes it as well. And people often say La Bouf, La Bouf. Anyway. What does it mean? Ochi. Very. Grassy the air. Beautiful. Le bouf. La. So, in plain simple English, it actually means Miss Very Beautiful Love. And she is a very, very beautiful love indeed. There we are. Let's get out to the lighthouse beach and show you the beautiful beach that it is. And again, there's a restaurant, a bar there. There's uh, sports on the beaches, they play volleyball. They can play tennis on the beach. Obviously, you can go snorkeling. You can go surfboarding, bobcatting. Yes, you can bring your Uncle Bob, and you can bring your cat if you wish. That's Cresivia La Boost rear end. And we are very close now to the lighthouse beach because just over there is the lighthouse. And the area we're coming to is to the rear of the Tomb of the Kings area. So you've got various hotels over there. The hotel in the distance now, the big building over there, is the Elysium Hotel. That's where Miss Rachel is going to marry a Mr. Mike, 
in a couple of weeks and that's a wedding that we've been invited to well a reception that we've been invited to and you've got the kiss host hotel just inland a little bit and of course you've got the capalius tourist village so there's a lot of places for people to stay and have a great holiday right on this very very beach and it truly is a beautiful place to come in fact there's a big ship that crashed on the shore of Paphos in 1985 and it loved it so much that it stayed here for the rest of its life. Now hold on a minute, we've lost Gracivia Labouf again. Here she comes. Absolute lunatic on one of these things. So if you do happen to see a blonde beauty coming towards you on one of these things, if I was you, I would move over because she's not going to give in, that's for sure. Have a look at that rear end. So as I say, we are rapidly approaching the Lighthouse Beach area. And there's plenty of benches, plenty of viewpoints for you to admire that beautiful ocean. Because it is a beautiful ocean, that's for sure. Again, it's an area perhaps that you wouldn't come to. So if you are in the Pasadonis Avenue hotels, that's the Hotel Avenue where all the big hotels are, and you're wondering for somewhere extra special to go, well, if you walk to the downtown Cape of Paphos Promenade, into the harbour, and go past the Sunset Point, and walk for around about 40-ish, 45 minutes, you will come to this rather pleasant beach, which has its own cafeteria restaurant, and the sun lounges and deck chairs for you to rent, obviously. As I said, there's many sports activities you can do. And then you can wander back up into those metropolis over there. And eventually you will join the dual carriageway of the Tomb of the King's Avenue Road. And I apologise for this road service because it's absolutely terrible. And my twin brothers are suffering a little bit. But anyway, here we are. We're almost upon the quest of where we were coming to. Quite busy. We are in the peak summer season but not a lot of people know about this beach if you understand i know you might think that's strange but a lot of people forget about this beach but it's certainly a beach worth visiting pretty sandy and most of the descent into the sea has got sand there is a few rocks lying about but it's a very nice place to come and have a nice relaxing day and look out into that blue blue mediterranean sea Again, let's wait for the auction receiver the booth to catch us up. There she is. There we are. Oh, yes, Miss Auction. I think we should uh, buy some waters. Okay. I'm thirsty. Very, very nice to drive these things, but very, very thirsty you get. And of course, Mr. Paul, your poor twin brother. You see, if you had a third, it wouldn't be that bad. These two would be in pain, suffered, and the third will be all right. This is how one changing another. But doesn't matter, we're not talking about the twin brothers now. Hi, Pains, Mr. Pains, are you all right? How nice to see you. I would like to tell you many, many thanks. Uh, I'm getting on the mood of little monkey child because I'm really, really having a fun of the scooters. If you're not having any fears to f fall over or any other fears of a bit speed, whatever, don't take it. But I would suggest, suggest to take it and then you can see more and more uh, places saving your lovely legs. This is my um, solution, what I'm giving to you. She's lazy. Mr. Paul, I'm not lazy. <gasps> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you many, many times for watching. Thank you for your time and support. Don't forget that we're loving you to bits. And please come back to see another of our witnesses. All that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. And of course, if you do like what you see, please hit that like, click subscribe and come back for a little bit more of our madness. We'll leave you with a view. It speaks for itself.